Hello, this is the makeshift intro. Although I filmed the outro first before I filmed this, I don't know if you me. See, look, I mentioned the fact that we were whispering because it's 11.37 p.m. in the outro, I don't know, whatever. Um, but this is six, I'm pretty sure, six spring outfits to get inspired by, by Kendall Mitchell. Enjoy. For this first outfit, we have the early 2000s mom. And I'm calling it that because I just feel that Every time I look at an outfit where it's like a tiny top and some low rise skinny jeans and some chunky sandal like shoes, I always think about an early 2000s mom. <laughs> I also think back to all those TikTok videos where people are showing off their parents, you know, like this used to be my mom, stuff like that. So this reminds me of that, which is why I called it <laughs> the early 2000s mom. But that's the vibe of this outfit. So. I don't think I even have to explain the name of this outfit. Like, definitely gives off Avril Lavigne stan vibes. She was your icon, and she still is. <laughs> but it also gives off Dorinda from Tita Girls, because I swear she's probably worn an outfit like this before. <laughs> so that was the inspiration for this outfit. Also, I feel like a lot of people these days dress like this, and I'm loving it, and I don't hate it. It's so one of the few trends that I don't hate, um, which is like the small top, baggy capri shorts, whatever you want to call them. You know, like I don't really set up many outfits like this for myself, but I do love it. I think the main reason why I didn't do it before is because I did not have a belt, but we already talked about this in the last video. I have a belt now. <laughs> but anyways, Avril Lavigne stand outfit. Bam. So for this outfit, I feel like it's still giving off the same vibe, the same energy as the Avril Lavigne stand outfit. So it's like Avril Lavigne stand, but secretly. I was trying to give off the vibe of like futuristic kind of, but then again, I also associate futuristic with like blues, whites, and grays and all that for some reason. So this can also not be the vibe of that. I just included this outfit because I really love it. I like the layering of the top and the tank top underneath it it's just really cool and then usually i do like two belts with this but for some reason i just didn't do the two belts with this one but we've seen this outfit before that is if you follow my instagram <laughs> what should i call this outfit i guess i can say that this is like a big pants little top combo bam <laughs> to make a youtube account and then what and then you make videos and then what and you edit them and then you post them and then what and then you wait to get viewers and then what and you keep doing the same thing over and over again and then what and then you die <laughs> and then what and that's it and then what I, can i record no let me just be in it. Your voice is already in it, so you can go now. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Hi, everybody. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyways, for this outfit, this outfit is more like very grunge core. I don't know how to explain it, but every time I think about something to do with fairy grunge, you know how Pinterest works. You get a lot of like greens, foresty type looking situations. I see a lot of new rocks. Um, but that's the vibe I'm getting from this outfit. I'm also getting like still once again early 2000s, but I think that's just because of the low-waisted pants. And they're also cargos as well. A lot of these outfits are giving off very much a hip-hop girl group in the early 2000s. That's what they're giving off. <laughs> the inspiration was Pinterest for this. Yeah. Which a lot of people have beef with Pinterest, but I personally don't know how Pinterest works. I just know I get a bunch of photos that relate to each other and that's it. So yeah. <laughs> For this one, we're gonna call it Unif Girl, quotation mark, goth edition, quotation mark. So basically Unif Girl, but make it fake goth because technically this is not the goth 
style, but it is darker than the usual attire that you would see a UNIF model wearing. Because usually they're all about those warm colors, like you see a lot of yellows, and although red is a warm color, but you see a lot of yellows and oranges, and they even have some like purples in there, which I guess is a cold color, depending on the shade of purple. This outfit reminds me of a UNIF model. I think it's because like the long skirt and you have like the small top, and then also the shoes are UNIF dupes shoes. So, <laughs> but like that's what this is giving me. Like I'm a UNIF model, but I like rock music, which is not to say that people who define themselves as goth listen to rock music, but you know, whatever. <laughs> For this last and final outfit, it's going to be called the Monster High Doll outfit maybe? I don't know. I feel like a lot of my outfits are like very brat themed, very Monster High Doll themed. But this one, these shoes specifically just hit it right on the, the dot <laughs> for the Monster High Doll theme. Um, it also reminds me of like one of their outfits because of the Argyle, is that what the word is? The Argyle sweater vest, um, as well as like the little mini skirts and like, the big chunky furry boots. Those are the vibes I get from this. Um, it's also, I guess, kind of leaning towards like mall golf, but I don't really know the correct term or type of dress for mall golf because I feel like there's different types of golf and I don't really know all of them. <laughs> Don't know the different categories like that. This is very Monster High doll slash Bratz doll, sort of mall goth, sort of I go to a school with a uniform. Yeah. <laughs> Private school. <laughs> I forgot to film an outro. I'm trying not to look at myself. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It took me three days to edit it. Three consistent days actually <laughs> and i put a lot of work into it and i'm very proud of it so yeah i hope you enjoyed it's the end of the video now <laughs> i'm tired not really i'm tired i'm stressed <laughs> not really i could be lying though um, but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope to see you in my next video i hope you like subscribe check out some other videos check out my last video that was a good one too peace out have a wonderful night because i most likely will be uploading this at night okay <laughs>